हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर देबा रतिधर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मास कम्युनिकेशन इन विवेकानंदा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ प्रोफेशनल स्टडीज न्यू डेली आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू टू डेज मॉड्यूल विच डील्स विद द पैराडॉक्स ऑफ एक्सेसिबिलिटी एंड एंगेजमेंट ऑफ वेमेन इन डिजिटल मीडिया इन टू डेज सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज द लिमिटेशन दैट वेमेन एक्सपीरियंस इन द डिजिटल वर्ल्ड ओवरऑल वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन विद अ लिटिल बैकड्रॉप इन इंडियन कंटेक्स like the onset of internet further we will discuss about gender diversity in a digital world women in digital world redefining notions and engagement of women in digital world in details in this module the title of today's module is women in a digital world digital media has been constantly changing the world in terms of learning business finance governance and the society at large It has opened up new innovative avenues for exchange of ideas and knowledge. The revolutionary change that the digital media has brought in is significant in every sphere including gender neutrality and equality. The advanced technological changes have undeniably provided the women with the platform to penetrate the digital media and be recognized for the accomplishments in the field of information communication and technology women have always been part of the technological field including data entry data processing and software development today in this digital age each and every area of workplace benefits by the advancement of diverse new media tools it has affected everyone right from young adults to older adults men or women in the 21st century women do not lag behind their male counterparts in any sector and they are a significant part of democracy women in today's age do not completely stick to the concept of domestic makers but rather explore the healthy scopes of becoming financially independent and they know how to explore their rights interestingly many researches have been done on women empowerment and new media it would not be completely wrong to make a broader assumption considering the present scenario where women are making their presence felt in every field that women now are no more treated as meek and submissive creature however the question still remains to be explored that whether they have achieved the fullest freedom or not for the development of any country the development has to start from the grassroots level where its women need to be empowered women empowerment is a broader term holding many definitions in simple words it is basically a process securing the basic right of equality of a woman enabling her to make her own decisions as this is the age of technology human lives are unthinkable without it it has made the communication process easier digital media and internet have touched every aspect of human life the year 1995 for india can be seen as one of the most crucial periods in the timeline when the country witnessed the advent of the internet for the public with the transformation in the platforms from static to highly dynamic interactive and instantaneous which can be traced through the evolution from web 1.0 to web 2.0 and so on the society witnessed some of the major socio economic and cultural transformations which were both trickle down as well as explosive in different contexts unfortunately the changing paradigms of technology throughout the history of technological revolution in india have been plagued in terms of accessibility tracing from the advent of print technology to the use of smartphones and other modern tools there has always been a concerning issue of digital divide and digital inequality as rightly pointed out by stuart hall technology in a society has always emerged as a commodity largely controlled by the socio economic capital of an individual group or community and after a period of time transforms into a public good for the marginalized classes however in the case of india the problem of access in terms of socio economic capital exists but on top of that what also exists is the issue of inequality in terms of access which is largely gender driven 
in India due to high degrees of concentration in the economic fields of engagement largely classified in terms of agriculture and manufacturing services, there is a growing disparity of digital divide. In addition to that, within such classes, despite access to technologies, there is also an issue of access which is largely controlled by the deep-rooted and strong system of patriarchy. The nature of engagement via technology is largely debatable in terms of women in India. We will have more insights in the area by examining whether the digital world supports the women or not. Now we will have a look in the gender diversity in a digital world in the context of our country. The digital platform provides for a wide range of modern data delivery and communication systems like the new media. Scholars like Livingstone and Bovill have rightly defined new media as something that necessarily were not initiated most recently, but rather the technology which recently experienced a fast phase of diffusion. Digital media has become such an integral part in the daily lives of people that it is almost difficult to imagine time without any of the technological devices. Since the very beginning, empowerment of women and their economic independence has been a debatable issue. Again, our traditional society also speaks about a clear restriction of women's existence within domestic rules as wives and mothers. The high degree of patriarchal society desperately dominates the decision-making processes both in private as well as public domains. As we know, there is a problem to call those women independent because they came to work not to make them independent but to support their family. As the economy of India is mostly agricultural based, they worked in fields and they were considered as labourers and not employees. But with the advancement of technology, the work domains of women have become prominently white. Women are no more considered as just labourers. In fact, they have embarked on every field that earlier might have considered as male dominated. Let us have a look at what UN Declaration of Human Rights talks. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. This was the historic statement of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights on 10th December 1948. Further, the same declaration also uttered that every person has the right of life, liberty and security. Women participation in the workforce is a form of socio-economic decentralization process. As we all know, dignity, involvement of women in decision making, planning or execution of program in her family as well as in society too rightly translates the true meaning of empowerment. Gender empowerment rightly could control over social and economic conditions and over democratic participation. Now, if we look at the available studies, then we will get an idea that situation is changing rapidly with digitalization favoring the female growth as their role in the corporate have been effectively identified. With the increasing awareness regarding matters like gender-based issues, equality and empowerment of women have led to the growing participation of women in the workforce and employment in every sector. Women have been creating their own mark and position in the digital world by maximizing the resources and with relentless innovation. Considering these factors, we will be discussing the various advantages brought in by the role of women in any organization's growth in this advanced digital world. Women can bring better strategies through digital media as it gives the scope of maintaining transparency, which is definitely preferred by most of the clients. Further, women are capable of bringing in emotional quotient and diversity that helps in building effective leadership goals and a subtle environment that promotes productivity. Besides all the advantages that women are capable of bringing in through digital media, they have to face several challenges as well in the digital world. For instance, there exists a very common perception about women that they are certainly less technology savvy. Such biasness, even if it is unconscious, do pose hurdles and difficulty for the women in adapting to the changes required in the digital world. Another interesting aspect to focus upon is the fact 
that there is not only a limitation to access to technology for women, there is also a limitation in access to content which can be classified as gender neutral or sensitive towards the notion of feminism in India. The primary concern here is that emerges in the case of digital media as argued by scholars is the fact that digital technologies are not entirely independent. They are seen as a form of extensions of the already existing dominant forms of media which are plagued by the stereotyping and conservative notions and monitored by market mechanisms. This limits the scope for alternative viewpoints or counter arguments which can prove beneficial in the long run for society's development. Women in Digital World Redefining Notions We will have a look at how digital media has redefined notions about women in the country. In India, women empowerment has consistently been a huge issue where male-centric culture still exists. The effects of digital media on the issue of women empowerment has been fundamentally depicted by scholars over the years and the findings express that it might be comprehended that regardless of whether new media innovation has the scope to achieve positive and dynamic changes in the lives of women because of financial, instructive, social, political and social hindrances, women experience issues in arriving at their maximum capacity. In this technological era, for anybody, absence of information of new media expectedly acquires a feeling of mediocrity and considering women, they also need the operational learning of the new mechanical devices. Nonetheless, this statement cannot be generalized because we can see that in urban areas, women are settling for diverse occupations like banking, software programming, BPOs and each one of these areas require the basic knowledge of information technology. Information communication technology in fields of e-commerce and web-based business has an enormous task to carry out and can empower women by involving them and their efforts. Talking about women in urban areas who are mostly a part of the virtual world, they have the scope and freedom where she can add friends according to her choice, communicate or can even unfriend them whenever required. Presently, this blocking issue in the virtual world poses another question, whether the women still have to deal with the fear that is actually present in the real social setup. Women need to imbibe certain attributes for attaining success and for sustaining in the digital world. For instance, along with emotional intelligence and communication skills, certain soft skills also play a great role such as persuasion, creativity, adaptability and collaboration. In addition, it is also noted that digital media can improve the position of women by informing them or providing them with livelihood options. Information about trade, business, craft and education can open a wide range of employment opportunities for them. While the potential of digital media for stimulating economic growth, socio-economic development and effective governance is well recognized, the benefits of digital media have been unevenly distributed. The relationship between the media and the issues of women is considered very significant because whatever is highlighted in the media shapes the perspectives and images about women in the society at large. Thus, if media is utilized in a proper way, it can improve the status and prevalent uh, concepts about women. As observed by Khan and Moin and several other scholars, digital media has the potential of empowering women and at the same time it has been playing its part in projecting the atrocities faced by the women very effectively. Digital media have served as a channel to cater to the information needs in a useful and convenient way. Women residing in urban areas are aware of the new media platforms and they know how to use it for expressing their voices and opinions. Studies done earlier on the empowerment of women by digital media highlights mainly the cases and influence upon the women of urban areas who are comparatively more educated than their rural counterparts. So considering the situation, it is worth exploring how digital media can bring in a sense of empowerment among the women in rural areas who are lagging behind in many aspects including status and infrastructure. 
engagement of women in digital world. Before we proceed, let us have a brief recap of what we learned so far. So far in this module, we have provided a general overview of the concerns of accessibility and engagement in the case of women by highlighting some of the important concerns both in the context of accessibility to tools of technology and accessibility to information in the case of women in India and its consequences in the society. Janet Martin, one of the renowned scholars, has raised a very important point regarding the use of digital media by women. She has pointed out that the internet has opened up new possibilities for women to engage in the social, political and economic spheres of the society. Despite the opportunities offered, Martin has also uh, focused upon the risks of digital media for women within society. The internet, according to Martin, has led to the amplification of the already existing concerns and issues for women. The most important point, as argued by her, is the process of misinformation through information. The lack of validity of information on the digital space and its limited sensitivity towards the women audiences has led to the emergence of an alternative form of activism which lacks the scope for movement within the society due to its weak structure of invalid information. It has been generally identified as a part of phony activism or slacktivism and many more. But the point as given by Martin is that it does not provide equal space in terms of engagement, especially in the case of women through digital media. For instance, the internet does not provide equal power distributions and for women there exist certain digital spaces which reflect hostility in terms of engagement. In the case of nature of information, women find it difficult to find appropriate information sources on the digital space due to strong marketing mechanisms which largely focus on commercial content. As Martin has rightly pointed out, in the matter of women's health, the majority of web content does not provide the required and necessary information. Most of the search queries provide details which are inappropriate, vague and objectifying in nature, unfortunately. As a result of which, even the data which can be considered as genuine or apt gets undermined by the large pools of data which only provide a nuisance value. Due to such forms of information being provided in a cyclical manner to any user, the nature of communication and engagement also becomes affected by these elements of nuisance value. Even the nature of expectations as determined by the social norms of the society become unclear due to the presence of alternative norms created through the engagement on digital media. One such example as pointed out by Martin is in terms of information regarding women's health. The manner in which the information is presented on digital media, it also impacts the nature of engagement in actual reality. Also, due to the problem of unequal distribution of power, especially on digital media, the alternative and counter arguments raised by women are subjected to such degrees of scrutiny and resentment that the scope for positive impact of digital media for women becomes cancelled out even in actual reality. Because of the existence of such limitations in terms of information, there is also a steady decline in engagement of women in digital space. Despite a diversity in the tools of digital media, such as smartphones and tablets, the level of engagement for women is still comparatively less than men because of the limitation of information available. Some of the positive aspects of such evolutions in technology have helped in reshaping the skills of engagement and reconfigured gendered relations. However, at the same time, the levels of masculinity as promoted through digital media becomes so domineering that it affects the ways women can contemplate on different socio-cultural and political matters with an independent viewpoint. One other important aspect to discuss about is the concern of self-esteem. Women in India, despite the existence of digital media as an alternate sphere for engagement, are subjected to discrimination and that their access and engagement to digital technologies remain limited. The issue of low self-esteem due to the hostility existing on digital space without any proper forms of gatekeeping becomes another challenge which deeply impacts engagement of women 
with digital media in India. In addition to that, the applications that are emerging in terms of making engagement more and more dynamic are not entirely designed to cater women's interests. They largely cater to the interests and desires of men as a result of which it is observed that there is a process of disengagement in regard to women and digital media. Another concern that can be witnessed in the case of women in India and digital media is the continuous conflict of identities. As argued before, with the existence of hostility in digital spaces for women in order to participate in different social matters of the internet, they have to rely on anonymity. It also leads to creation of alternative digital identities in order to avoid hostility. In this process, the generation of counter-arguments by women questioning the conservative and hegemonic principles of the society also creates a space of conflicting identities as within the actual reality, their scope for expression becomes limited due to strong roots of patriarchy. But on the digital media, they may be able to express through their alternative identities. However, when there is a convergence of these identities in specific social scenarios, it leads to an issue of conflict when the individual is unable to identify as to who she is and how she is being perceived by the society. It further creates an issue of self-esteem as there is always a fear of being identified as part of the subjugated group which in the digital space reflects a completely opposite reflection of the individual. Access to technological innovation opens up a huge number of opportunities for women and is an extraordinary leveler in balancing out the playing field. Employment opportunities in the online world can be taken as an example. At the working environment, technological innovation enables women to control and develop their abilities the correct way at the correct pace and ensures them against oblivious inclinations that could restrain their professional development. Further, digital media additionally helps in developing emotionally supportive networks and plans focused on activities to support women in adopting new aptitudes, share working environment issues and more grounded working environment. Now we will have a, a concluding notes on the above module. One of the prime traits of digital media and women is that the accessibility of information of different aspects helps in developing a broader social consciousness towards diverse factors relevant for mobility and growth within the society. However, at the same time, the vast range of information also creates a problem of overload where the degree of interpretation does not mature enough for relevant social action. Apart from that, the tools despite the limitation in terms of access when trickled down to the class comprising of women, it helps in concretizing the preferences and desires which ultimately help in shaping the counter sphere of women within society. Despite the creation of online sphere, there is still a limitation of engagement as the degree of sensitivity within women varies due to variation in information within digital media. As a result, the online spaces appear fragmented to some degree. In addition to that, there has been a positive change of new emerging cultural identities which are adopting the best of both the traditional and the modern world. However, they require a greater introspection through the engagement of information which for women can help in defining or aiding the process of defining their cultural identities. Further, there is also a dire need to promote the idea of digital media and neutrality in engagement amongst women within the Indian society so as to promote equality as well as promote the idea of enhancement in productivity in the engagement of women to digital media. In the process, it is important to understand that information should not be classified on the basis of socio-economic hierarchy, rather it should be seen as a neutral opportunity which can favor and benefit every member of socio-economic hierarchy within society. With the rising level of literacy in India, it is important to understand that in terms of engagement, women are playing a very active role which is complementing the overall development process of the society. Thus, 
not only the engagement of men in different spheres of the society initiate a rapid increase in the development process, rather it would widen the digital divide and inequality. In the case of India, history has been a great reminder as well as teacher in terms of sensitizing the importance of women in the development process and digital media and its engagement should not be considered any different. Its enhanced features of interoperability, instantaneity and interactivity, in terms of information, the women can be seen as important change makers in political, cultural and economic spheres of the society. Therefore, it is the dire need of the hour to critically analyze the trends emerging in terms of digital media, women and engagement and make the necessary corrections to promote the concept of equity in Indian society. That is all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed this session. We covered a large area and hope it has made sense to you. Please read the written module as well as readings suggested at the end of it. Thank you and Namaskar.